عوف الاسم العليم من شر الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وطبيب نفوسنا وشفيع ذنوبنا سيدنا ومولانا أبي القاسم محمد اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد والصلاة والسلام على أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الميامين المنتجبين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم مجمعين إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في محكم كتابه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد كتبنا بالزبور من بعد الذكر أن الأرض يرثها عبادي الصالحون أهلنا بالله صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum my beloved sons and daughters, uh, brothers and sisters wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah we are going to we have two sessions left. Hopefully we can cover uh, in these two nights uh, by, uh, by the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by the help of the 12th Imam Ajjalallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif. We have two topics left. The return of the infallibles and the day of the judge the day of judgment being held on the uh, or the doomsday on the evil ones. So let's talk today about the Raja. Raja, it means return, return of the infallibles. Now, it's a long topic. Let me give a summary of what we are going to talk and then I'll go scroll through the slides to see if we had missed a point or not. What does Raja means? Uh, raja mean? Raja means return from Rujua, Yarja, Inna Lillah wa Inna Ilayhi Raja'oon. We are to Allah and we will return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will return to Him. So return, Raja'a. Raja'a means return, return. Raja'a here in this concept, return of the infallibles, Imams, alayhi salatu wasalam. What does that mean? That means that there is a theory in the school of Ahlul Bayt, alayhi salatu wasalam. Even the school of Ahlul Bayt, they are not obligated. We ask Sayyid Abul Qasim Khui, rahmatullah alayhi, does the Shia follower of Ahlul Bayt, they must believe in Raja'a? He said, no, it's not an essential belief. People, they don't, uh, they are not convinced. It's a belief. You need to be convinced with your intellectual mind. Uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you don't believe, that's fine, you know. The whole idea of Raja'a is return of uh, death back to life. Return of death back to life. This is the Raja'a. What are we talking about in our session? Return of the people who died. They are going to come back to the earth in the time of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam or after the time of the Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. So, uh, return of these dead people, deceased one, back to the earth. No. First of all, let's briefly see the, the, the possibility of it. Is it possible intellectually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes the life, takes the death? If we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then bringing people back to life with the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shouldn't be intellectually uh, problematic. It is acceptable. If Allah gives the life, He takes the life, He gives this power to the people, uh, like Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like our Imams alayhi salatu wasalam, they can bring people back to life, they can, uh, uh, they can cure people. This is the thing. So Allah, so this be coming back to life, the possibility, intellectual possibility is there. Which if we believe in Allah, then we shouldn't be, it shouldn't be difficult to understand the concept of people coming back to life. Did it happen in the history? Yes. The story of Baqarat Bani Israel, the cow of Israelites. If you don't know, refer previous sessions, previous lectures of last year. We mentioned the story in detail. People, they came back to life. Uh, uh, the, 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 the person who was killed in Bani Israel, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told them to kill a cow and they brought this flesh of the cow and they hit this person and the person comes back to life. Prophet Moses story. Prophet Isa alayhi salatu wasalam brought many people back to life. Uh, as mentioned in the Quran, uh, he had this ability to bring people back to life. Um, Hasqeel, uh, there are people, there are hundreds of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of, or thousands of people, they died, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought them back to life. It's mentioned in the Quran. Uh, the people, they ran away from the plague, and they, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought them back. People of Kaf, Ashab al Kaf, who, who died for 309 years or who slept. Based on a theory, they died. Another theory says they slept for 309 years. So Allah brought them back. Uzair, who, who, who hundred, after 100 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought them back to. These are all mentioned in the Quran. These are mentioned in the Quran. And there might be other stories also in the Quran. The bottom line is possibilities happen and possibilities there. It happened in the history. Quran tells us several cases about that. Now we come. Will this happen in the time of Imam Mahdi? And what is this theory? This theory says several things. Number one, our Imams, they wish that they could support the Imam This is the wish of the Imam. Like Imam Sadiq I mentioned it. Imam Sadiq says, if I reach his time, لَخَدَمْتُهُ أَيَّامَ حَيَاتِي I would, I would have helped him my entire life. Imam Ali Salatul says, I would have helped him my entire life. So it's an honor to serve. As it was honor to serve Imam Hussain Ali Salatul Salam, it's an honor to serve Imam Mahdi Ali Salatul Salam from the Imams. So if Imams, they wish this. Can't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring them back to life? So this is one of the possibilities, the, the wish of the Imam. Then there's dua of Ahl. Dua of giving pledge of allegiance to the 12th Imam. When you mention in this dua that, Oh Allah, if I die, then akhrijni min qabri, take me out of my grave. Mu'taziran kafani, wearing my kafan, not naked, you know. Wearing my kafan, shahir and saifi, I'm raising my sword. Mujarrad and qanati, taking my, uh, my arrow out. Mulabbi and da'wat al da'i fil hadiri wal badi, responding to that person who will be calling in the, in the cities and in the desert. Who will be calling? Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wa sallam. Al-min nasirin yansuruna. Is there any supporter who could support us? He will start from the Holy Kaaba. He will call for help. And as he goes on, he will let people know. Is there any supporter who could support us? Is there anybody who wants to help us? And so this dua says, Oh God, Mulabbiyan da'wat al da'i fil hadiri wal badi. Let me be those from those who will be responding to the call of this person who will be calling in the 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 civilized place and in the desert, like in the urban and in desert, you know. So this is the this is the 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 dua al ahad. You ask Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the ability to fulfill your dua or not? Yes. Will he? It depends on the sincerity. So this is another thing uh, which uh, creates the possibility of those people who want to support the Imam, they die before the Imam comes, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring them back to life because they did this dua and they want to support them. And Allahumma arini tal'at al-rashida wa tal'at al Oh Allah, show me this, this beautiful face, this wise face, you know, uh, this, this glowing face of Imam alayhi salatu wasalam. There are people, they wish that they, they just want to see the Imam to come back back to the earth to have this beloved communication with their beloved one. So this is the, the, the thing. So now these are these are the du'as which create the possibility. Now let's see. It's a long story. If you see in the book of Sid Muhammad the Sadr, it's about more than hundred pages discussing the issue. We will summarize it. Sid Muhammad the Sadr is one of those who oppose the idea of detailed Raja. We have three authors. As I said, I'll bring from other authors. Allah al-Majlisi, author of Bihar Anwar, he accepts everything in Raj'ah. Raj'ah of the infallibles, Raj'ah of the people, Raj'ah of the deceived one, the, the evil ones, Raj'ah of every every single Raj'ah possibility, he accepts it. Uh, Shaykh Muhammad Sadiq al the author of the book, he doesn't accept Raj'ah, he accepts the possibility of Raj'ah of Imam Ali alayhi salatu only. And then we have the Allama Tabatabai. He accepts the Raja'a, some types of Raja'a accepts which are supported by the Quran, some types he does not accept which are not supported by the Quran. So these are the three great scholars of the school of Ahlul Bayt, and they have some of them they deny most of it, some of them they accept all of it, some of them they are they just accept the Quranic interpretation and indications of Raja'a. I'm not going to go into these details. I'm just going to give you a summary of what is said about the Raja'ah. And <coughs> the only Raja'ah which Sayyid Muhammad al Sadr accepts is the Raja'ah of Imam Ali alayhi salatu the return of Imam Ali. Now, why is the need of the return? Like, one concept, the infallible needs to be washed by infallible. So if the infallible needs to be washed by the infallible, if the Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu dies, somebody needs to be. 
But what happens? Then, then the 12 finishes. That means it, it will go backwards. That means Imam Hassan al Askari will come. And then it will, uh, Imam uh, Ali al Hadi will come. The last one will be Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. And that supports the concept that the last infallible to die on the earth will be Amir al Mu'minin alayhi salatu Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. But this is a ijtihad. Okay, last is Imam Ali. That means the Imams will come all 12 backwards. There's no hadith saying like that. There's no authentic hadith indicating that they will come backwards like that. Just Muhammad is saying, Muhammad Sadr mentions. That there's no authentic hadith. This is indicated, this ijtihad is deducted by the hadith which says that infallible needs to be washed by infallible. Number one, the last infallible on the earth will be Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. So that means the infallible will come backwards. Imam Hassan Askari then um, uh, minus like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And the last infallible will be the uh, messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam or both of them. Uh, this is the opinion which is mentioned uh, because to wash. Other is uh, the infallible Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. Uh, but what will, who will wash Imam Ali's body then? We, we, we end up into that chain again, chain of uh, then, then again uh, the Imam Hassan will be brought back and it never ends. Somebody, some infallible needs to come to wash and the whole series, then who will wash Imam Hassan? Then who will wash? So it needs to stop somewhere. So the best is to say Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam will wash Imam Mahdi and that's it because Jesus will not be Imam, Jesus will not be Prophet but he will be a pious person, he practiced as a Prophet so that will be enough to wash the infallible Ali Musallatu Wasalam. So this is another thing and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala can break the chain, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala can break the chain just to keep that, uh, keep that concept you don't need to have that kind of uh, chain continuation because it's not an obligation it's just an honor that infallible is washed by an infallible. That's another thing. Now let's go through these uh, these points which Sayyid Muhammad al-Sadr has mentioned and inshallah we will. The, uh, let, let, just let me indicate uh, the, the points of Allama Tabatabai. These are certain ayat of the Quran which Allama Tabatabai says that uh, uh, one of the ayat says وَيَوْمَ نَحْشُرُ مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ فَوْجَةٍ That there will be a day where we will resurrect from every nation a group. That means not. Imam Sadr alayhi salatu wasam says that on the day of judgment Everybody will be resurrected. We resurrected Madmun al I am not so sure about the proper wording. But the, we have resurrected them all and we did not leave anybody. So this ayah tells that there will be a group resurrection. This ayah says that everybody will be resurrected. So this is of the day of judgment. This is in Raj'ah. This ayat, uh, these two scenarios are different. And then there's an, another ayat which says, Rabbana amatta nathnatain. Oh God, you made us die twice. And you gave us life twice. Wa ahyaytana. Ihya, Sayyid Kamal al Haider says, is different than hayat. Because giving death comes after life. So we cannot say before our birth we are dead. No, 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 no. The Quran does not talk about death. Quran talks about befalling the death, uh, coming of the death. Amattana, you gave us death. That was not giving us death. Giving us death comes after life. So that means this life is our life, first life. We die. We wake up in resurrection, uh, draja, second life, and we die. So that's the interpretation. The Quran mentions two uh, bringing death and two bringing life. What is the other interpretation for those who deny the Raja'ah or those who say that this is not an indication of Raja'ah? There are two lives. One is this life and the other life we die, we are, we are back, back to life in the Barzakh, in the life behind the barrier, life of the grave. And then we have what? We die in the grave and we are back, back to the resurrection on the hereafter. So we have one life, this life, death in this life, life in Barzakh, death in life of Barzakh. So we have this life is one life, but this life is not ahya. This is living. We were sperms, we were living. We never died. We were sperm. The sperm came out of living, 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 living. So it's all life. So this life is rejected from this ayat. So ahyaytana amattana thnatayn. You gave us death too. When is the first death? From this world. When is the second death? From the barzakh, from the grave the life and the grave, life behind the barrier. When is the first ihya bringing life, not life, 
bringing, you made us live. Where did he make us live? In this life. Where is another life? When we died from this life, he gave us another life in the barzakh, in the grave. So we have imata, we have ihya, it's different than hayat and maut. Hayat and maut is life and death. Ihya is bringing life, bringing death. You brought death to us, to death. You brought life to us, to life. And bringing death comes after the life. So one life is already there and that is not bringing back to life. It is already life. So the bottom line is, think about this. We have this life, death befalls on us. This is first death. Then we have, we are brought back to life. Where? In the grave. That's the first bringing back to life. First bringing back to life in the grave. Death falls on us uh, on the day of resurrection. Second death. So where is the second life? In the hereafter. So, uh, so we, we don't, we are not necessary to explain this as raja, because two death and two life, two bringing deaths and two bringing lives can be one death brought on earth, one death brought on the world, uh, in the grave, the the, the system of barza, and the um, and the one life is the life brought back to system of barza. The second life is the life in the hereafter. So this is basically few and there are others also as I mentioned if I will talk a lot I will miss uh, the session today. So j let's just go and uh, uh, scroll through these notes and see whatever we can grasp in these few minutes. The Raja needs more than one session but uh, let's see inshallah if we have some time more time we will elaborate more on this Raja but for the time being take this as an appetizer. It is, uh, it is like losing Imam Ali alayhi salatu salam. What will happen after Imam, alayhi salatu, Imam Mahdi dies? It is the same as losing like Imam Ali alayhi salatu salam. The Imam Hassan alayhi salatu salam was there. But Imam Ali alayhi salatu salam, uh, with the unique qualities, the existence of Al Qaim alayhi salatu salam, uh, Imam Ali is Imam Ali, of course. Imam Ali is Imam Ali with his, with his unique uh, qualities. The existence of Al Qaim in between the people has its own beauty and perhaps many people will think that all the glory of the government will perish but they will be wrong after the Imam والسلام, there are two theories one is that the society will remain under the government of infallibles and another is the just and pious rulers one after another the government of the just and pious rulers is acceptable and it will be under the supervision of Jesus والسلام, perhaps Unless if he dies before, because if Jesus is going to live for 40 years and the highest possibility of the age of Imam Mahdi is 70 years, then Jesus will not exist as well. But most of the narrations indicate that Imam Mahdi والسلام, will leave this world before Jesus. والسلام. The theory of the government of infallibles leads us to what? That the infallibles will come and lead, leads us to discuss the topic of Raj'ah. The return of the infallibles, which will be discussed in our uh, in this session. Let's see the true the true belief. عن الرضا عليه الصلاة والسلام قال المأموم قال قال المأموم مأموم said to Imam Rida عليه الصلاة والسلام يا أبو الحسن أو أبو الحسن Imam Rida عليه الصلاة والسلام title. ما تقول في الرجعة? What do you say about رجعة? فقال إن الحق it's for sure going to happen. قد كانت في الأمم السالفة وانا تقبل القرآن. The possibility is there. It happens previously, and Quran has spoken about the return of certain people uh, uh, to back from the death. This topic is lengthy, but, but this Imam Rada does not discuss the details. He just said it's, it's it is there. It is true. It is going to happen. But who, which, how? He does not discuss those details. This topic is a lengthy topic, and books have been written to discuss uh, the evidences. But due to the lack of time, we will just uh, will just. Uh, go through the opinion of author and some points of discussion and perhaps include some other. Is the return coming of Imam Mahdi? Return means somebody died, left this world, comes back to the world. Is occult, coming back from occultation considered a return? Well, it could mean the coming of 12th Imam Ali uh, is a return also and return of the right of Ahlul Bayt. When Imam Mahdi comes, the rights of Ahlul Bayt will be returned to them. After they were taken, after these rights were taken, uh, after they were taken uh, from Imam Hassan Ali and could mean uh, because Muawiyah took the rights from Imam Hassan Ali 
Yazid took it from Imam Hussein. The rights of Ahl al-Bayt were taken. So when Imam Mahdi comes with his government, with his, uh, with his leadership, with his authority, that means the return of the authority, of the political authority to Ahl al-Bayt. But they have all kinds of authority. Political authority was taken away from them. That political authority will be given back to Imam Mahdi So is this return of the political authority considered a return? Could mean the return of uh, uh, could uh, and could mean return of the so this could be a return, this could be a return that return of the rights uh, to the infallibles, it could mean the return of the dead uh, dead return of the dead back to the earth. Discussing Raja, the second meaning uh, discussing uh, discussing Raja, uh, the second meaning is one of the one of the one which is meant here and which has been discussed in various opinions which can be listed as follows now there is a huge pile of hadith and opinions about Raja let's go one by one one by one what are, what are the meanings of the, the return who's going to return return of every pure believers and every pure uh, disbeliever even if they were not infallible so return of the believers, every pure believers and every impure believer, every impure disbeliever. So man kafar al mahba wa man amana mahab al iman mahba wa mahab al kufra mahba. The pure, evil and pure, uh, pure, uh, good, pious one. They all are going to come. The evil one will be with Sufyani and Dajjal. Pious one will be with Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu wasalam. Return of some of the infallibles alayhi salatu wasalam, like Imam Ali and Imam Hussein, and some might include the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam as well. Return of all the infallibles in reverse sequence, ending with Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, who is indicate who, who has who has who has indicated who is indicated as the last who has who is indicated uh, 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 who is indicated as the last infallible as the last infallible on the earth with him the earth will come to end with Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam's martyrdom or the crime which they will commit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring the end to the world world and uh, the earth will collapse so let's see indication through Holy Quran I mentioned this thing uh, about Yawma Nahshuru Min Kulli Ummatin Fawja uh, Majlisi mentioned that these narrations are abundant uh, but such claim begs proper evidence Allama Majlis is that Muhammad is Sadr and Allama Majlis they both are like discussing. So Allama Majlis is this are Tawatr, plenty narration. Uh, Allama uh, Muhammad is Sadr, he says, no, 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 who said there are plenty narrations? The, the Tawatr is not proven, they're all weak narrations and Tawatr can strengthen the weak narration, but there's no Tawatr there. Some of the narrations contain a lot of metaphor and indications are incoherent. Even the content of categories don't match in many cases. Like some say that every pure believer and every pure disbeliever, there is no indication about the reverse return of the infallibles, not even a single narration, and must have been concluded from the narration of Imam Ali being the last infallible on the face of the earth. On the contrary, there, are, there, there, there is a narration indicating that Imam Hussein will be the first uh, uh, resurrection and not Imam Hassan al Askari. That means if we want to go to that direction, that means Imam Hussein is going to wash Imam Mahdi. That means Imam Hussein is going to be Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam is going to be first and Imam Ali is going to be the last. So it does not say Imam Hassan al Askari, then Imam Ali al Hadi, then and then backwards. No. Return of Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. This is one of the strong uh, things. But here also, uh, here we are, uh, we are, we are going to mention the hadith narration. We spoke about the ayat, two lives and two deaths. I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, one day, this is important because Imam Ali's return. Why said Muhammad the Sadr feels he rejects most of the return? But he says that this kind of return is acceptable. And uh, the ayat indicates return of someone on the earth. And this hadith indicates that's Imam Ali. Let's see this hadith. An Abi Basir, a, narrate, a trusted narrator, An Abi Abdullah, Imam Ja'far Sadr, alayhi salatu wa said, قَالَ إِنْتَهَا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَمْ إِلَىٰ أَمِيرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَهُوَ نَائِمْ فِي الْمَسْجِدِ Rasulullah one sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came one day to Imam Ali and Imam Ali was sleeping in the masjid وَقَدْ جَمَعَ رَمْلًا وَوَضَعَ رَأْسُ عَلَيْهِ There was a pile of dirt or sand and he was sleeping making that sand as a pillow فَحَرَّكَهُ بِرِجْلِهِ Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala moved Imam Ali from his legs قَالَ ثُمَّ قَالَ كُمْ يَا دَابَّةَ اللَّهِ Wake up 
Oh, the one who will crawl on the earth. Allah's crawling creature on the earth. فَقَالَ رَجُلْ مِنْ أَصْحَابِي One of the companions says, Oh, Rasul, Messenger of Allah, should we call names on each other? You, you, you call a name on Imam Ali, that crawling creature of the earth, uh, a walking creature of Allah on the earth, creature, dabba, the one who walks on the earth. Uh, should we, should, is it allowed for us to call each other with names, you know? Uh, Imam Ali, uh, the Messenger of Allah said, أَنُسَمِّي بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا بِهَذَا الْإِسْمِ فَقَالَ لَا No, 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 no. لا والله, no, by God, ما هو إلا له خاص. This name is only for Imam Ali, alayhi salatu wasam, especially. And وهو الدابة التي ذكر الله في كتابه. And he's the دابة, the one who's going to walk on earth, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in his book. Now, look at this ayah. وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلِ When the time comes of the destruction of the earth, before the destruction, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send someone on the earth. أَخْرَجْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ We will take someone out from the ground to them. أَخْرَجْنَا means take out from the ground. أَخْرَجْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ We will take someone out from the ground or this is an interpretation of course. The ayat does not say from the ground. أَخْرَجْنَا وَإِذَا وَقَعَ الْقَوْلُ عَلَيْهِمْ When the time comes of destruction, أَخْرَجْنَا لَهُمْ دَابَّةً مِنَ الْأَرْضِ this is the indication. We will take uh, we will take them a walking person on the ground from the ground min al ard. That means he will come back after death from the ground. What will he say? To kalimuhum. He will talk to them. That means it's a human being. It's not an animal. Human being. People. They are not believers in our ayah. He will talk. People, why don't you? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he will tell the people that they are not believing in the ayat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means the Imam Ali alayhi salatu wa is going to come out from the earth and he's going to give the last final warning before the destruction of the earth, before the adab comes of the earth. Guys, believe in the signs of God. Believe in the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Leave the corruption. Leave the evil. This is one of the indications that end of the earth will be be on the evil ones if this hadith is correct if this much is authentic everything is a solid place in its place um, that means uh, that the end of the earth will happen on the evil ones which is one of the important theories in the school of Ahlul Bayt and also school of companions they support but Sayyid Muhammad al Sadr has a little bit disagreement in this uh, theory that he says no uh, the end of the earth will happen on the just people continuation of the government of Imam Ali Salatu Salam but uh, uh, the other um, popular theory says no the corruption will come back on the earth we'll talk about that in our last session tomorrow inshallah bi'idhnillahi ta'ala so uh, Imam Ali will tell people why are you not believing in the sign of God you are not believing in the sign of God the adab will come the adab will come final warning they will kill Imam Ali alayhi salatu wasalam, and the evil ones will be the one who will be suffering the torture and punishment of the earth falling part on them ثم قال يا علي إذا كان آخر الزمان the messenger of Allah says if the, if the end time comes أخرجك الله في أحسن صورة Allah will take you out in a beautiful form ومعه ميسم تسم به أعداءك you will have a, you will have a stick or you will have a kind of mark making device you know, you will you will name those, uh, you will mark the enemies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَقَالَ الرَّجُلِ لِأَبِي عَبْدِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ الْعَمَّ تَسْعَمْ So this is, the, this is one of the ayat. So basically, uh, this ayat, Sayyid Muhammad al-Sadr said that this is all what we can get, that someone is going to get out from the, from the earth and give final warning. That is the, the, the strong possibility of the Raj'a. Detail, he says, is it Imam Ali? If this narration is authentic, yes. If this is not authentic, it's not Imam Ali. Uh, but at least, at least he said it creates the possibility that Imam Ali والسلام, will come and give the final warning to the people of the earth. So conclusion, the narrations do not prove more than a general meaning that there is going to be a type of return for a group of people without any further details being proven properly. And the return of uh, this Dabba is one of those people who will return. So the narrations, all what they say indicate is someone is going to be coming out. And this ayat also says someone, 
maybe it's one person maybe it's ten person it does but there is going to be a return that's all what it is proven the details they are all weak details Imam Ali's detail it's the, the, the strongest among those weak uh, uh, details which are mentioned the rule of the pious once after Imam Mahdi uh, one of the narrations indicate that there will be 11 pious rulers after the government of Imam Abdullah Ta'ala Faraj al-Sharif inna minna ba'd al-qa'im ahda ashara mahdiyan there will be 11 mahdis after the 12th Imam maybe this was the indication which was taken that there will be uh, 12 uh, 11 infallibles will come back on the earth um, uh, there will be uh, the rule of pious ones uh, for 309 years after the Qa'im Ajjallahu Ta'ala Faraj al so 12 leaders will come and they will lead let's say if each leader leads for 40 years 3 4 is 12 in each year uh, four, uh, 4 leaders will lead the community the whole earth that means in 300 years uh, they, they will the 12 or 11 will lead the whole earth and then the qiyamah will happen the day of judgment will be uh, we will be held and then uh, so this is the ruler of the the then there is 12 pious rulers after imam 12 mahdi after the 12 imams there are narrations plenty my time is over but i will just place these uh, these uh, these notes uh, beside the lecture so you can go over them and uh, just uh, I just wanted to mention brief thing about the Raj'a so finally uh, will there be any other government after the government of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu no that is the final government it will continue Imam Mahdi will, will be martyred or die but there will be 12 rulers pious rulers they will come in this is the theory of Sayyid Muhammad the Southern and, some, uh, and uh, they will rule for 309 years uh, after Jesus perhaps and then uh, Imam Mahdi then Jesus and under the supervision of Jesus there will be like these uh, 12 rulers in 309 years each ruler might take 40 years of time to rule the whole earth Tabrasi, uh, Tabrasi is uh, Amal al um, uh, Tabrasi is uh, in A'lam al -Wara, opposing the theory of the government of the pious ones mentioned that the authentic uh, the authentic uh, the authentic narrations the authentic uh, narrations consider Consider Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu last ruler. He said Imam Mahdi is going to be the last ruler. There's no 12 pious rulers. This is going to be the last. Uh, uh, the authentic narration say that this is the last government. The response we mentioned, yes, Imam Mahdi's government will be the last government. These are not going to bring new governments. These 12 are going to continue the government of Imam Mahdi alayhi salatu And perhaps if we can combine the other theory, the more the government goes, uh, there are two directions either the world will end up with utopia and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send a breeze will kill all the pious ones on the earth and then the destruction will happen so the destruction will not happen on the pious one there will be no torture this is theory of Sayyid Muhammad the Southern supporting the theory of Sayyid Muhammad the Southern other theory says no these pious, pious governments will continue and evil will start rising again and again until the whole earth will be filled with evil Imam, uh, Imam Ali salatu will come give the final warning they will kill Imam Ali salatu and the doomsday will happen this is brief uh, what we wanted to mention and uh, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the appearance of our 12th Imam soon. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us among his uh, sincere supporters in his occultation and after his appearance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all the mu'mineen around the world and keep them safe and secure from every evil and every terror and every terrorism. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, uh, to bless all our beloved ones who have left this world. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make this month of Ramadan, month of uh, the acceptance of our worships, the acceptance of our fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep this month, the month of peace, prosperity, and dignity, and unity, and spirituality for all the mu'mineen and Muslims around the world. And uh, wa, uh, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings in our sessions. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ameen rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tahirin.